Hey guys, this is William for uh, twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola and YouTube's Play Agricola account. Uh, I'm playing EIK WM France Deck G45 game with V, Field Watchman, and Midi Lol. And uh, just before we get started, I wanted to say thank you to HIKLJ for the uh, resub uh, while I was offline actually on Sunday, so thank you for that. Much appreciated. Um, Let's get into this game. So I'm looking at this first pile. And uh, Bargaining Baker is probably the best card. Scrounger is interesting. Guildmaster, Head of the Revolution are interesting. I think though, Bargaining Baker is just like a great card. Gives you a really clear feeding plan pretty much on its own. Um, now, if I could get a card like Landscape Gardener back, that would be amazing, but I love Landscape Gardener. Highly doubt it's coming back. Probably we're going to see Landscape Gardener, Head of the Revolution, Scrounger. I guess what these four are the next four that should be picked. So I'm getting back one of those four, which, you know what? I would be pretty happy with any of them. I'd be a little unhappy getting Guildmaster back just because Guildmaster the Stone competes with Bargaining Baker, but we'll see. There's Cabinet Maker here. So I could pick up Cabinet Maker and bank on Guildmaster coming back if I think that that's the most likely thing to happen. And I have to say, looking at this pile, this pile is awful. Um, Animal Buyer is probably the best card, but this pile is really awful. So I'm okay taking a Speculative Cabinet Maker pick here. Alright, next up, I don't even have to think about it, it's Child Psychologist. Child Psychologist is just such an amazing card. Um, I, it's getting consistently undervalued. Uh, like if Family Growth comes out round 5, I can use Child Psychologist to play my Bargaining Baker and then build the Clay Oven in round 5 with my second action. And then that gets my food for two more occupations and uh, sets up my feeding quite nicely. Yeah, Prudent Merchant is nice with uh, Bargaining Baker as well because I could build like the stone oven for cheaper, but I think Child Psychologist is pretty clearly the pick. The other thing is with Guildmaster, anything that lets you get occupations out faster is good because one of the big problems Guildmaster comes is it's just so slow. You have to play the awk, then you play the other thing, then you play the other thing. Like, it's just so slow. Um, this is a pretty interesting pick, actually. Like, uh, a card like Tavern Keeper with Bargaining Baker is playable, uh, leaving empty room so that I can get extra grain to bake with. A card like Eris with Child Psychologist, if Family Growth comes around 5 and I use it to play Eris, and I use Child Psychologist to play Eris, then I can start player jump in the Family Growth queue. Um... I think though the pick is going to be Mare Candidate. It's going to get me two stone and two wood. The wood are obviously nice for building rooms. The stone will be excellent for building stone up the stone oven. I think it's Mare Candidate. And wow, Landscape Gardener came back. But I do think I have to seriously consider Child Care Worker here. The reason I have to consider Child Care Worker is because of... Um, Child Psychologist. Like, Child Care Worker essentially says pay a wood to play an occupation when somebody else's family grows. Which is not awful. It's not amazing, but it's not the worst. Hmm. You know what? I think Bargaining Baker will be enough. The Clay Oven will be enough. I'm going to hope that I get some kind of minor improvement to help support a baking game plan, and then I'll be okay. This pick here... Hmm, it's Adoptive Parents or Animal Buyer. Adoptive Parents obviously helps me accelerate, get bigger, faster. Animal Buyer is more of a late game card. 
if I'm not going to go for the first family growth, like with Mare Candidate, I could go for an early well, definitely. Um, then a card like um, Adoptive Parents is maybe better. I could also just do Animal Buyer. Animal Buyer gets me, like, the great thing about Animal Buyer, you set it up for round 13, buy two cattle, and then it's four points, or a four point move for your cattle, and then you buy two boar in round 14. The problem with that, of course, is that you're, like, not taking animals otherwise, and then you're leaving lots of animals on the board, but I think this will probably be fine. I want late game cards with Child Psychologist, cards that I can use, that I can play when my opponent's family growth even without room. And then maybe I go for a big room myself. The other nice thing is Cabinet Maker, having Cabinet Maker in hand with Mare Candidate is kind of nice because I can, don't have to worry about spending my wood perfectly. Um, whoa, Plowman came back. I will definitely take plowman this is a nice card i'm amazed that it came all the way back and we have some excellent minor improvements oh man <laughs> we have some excellent minor improvements here twivel and twivel giving early food is exactly what we want with a card like child psychologist um Bread Paddle letting me play Baked Bread on my occupations to get me food to pay for the occupations. Diamond Mine is one of the best miners, just the value is unreal, two stone and, and a point, unreal value, which would let me play my major improvements. I think I have to take Grain Bag though. I think I just have to, I have to take Grain Bag because Bargaining Baker, the grain from it will not be enough. And also it gives me really good incentive to build clay oven and stone oven and maybe a fireplace and get, then th that would power like four grain from grain bag on the grain space. So then I wouldn't only have to sow once at the end of the game with landscape gardener. Yeah. Whoa, apiary. Whoa, cash crop. <laughs> oh man. Both of those would be excellent. Um, apiary cash crop. What do you think I should take, Twitch chat? Help me out here. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, a card like Canoe does pay for my grain bag, but I don't think I want to play it. I want to play Bargaining Baker faster. A card like Acreage with Landscape Gardener, like, I can sow a lot very early, but I still want to plow field, so, like, sowing early is not really that good for me. I don't have a payoff for it. I think for me it's pretty clear. It's Apiary or Cash Crop. Uh, I think I'm going to take Apiary just... <sighs> no, I lied. I'm going to take Cash Crop. Cash crop, if it's worth like two points, it's going to be worth it. We have another major improvement upgrade. So we have to be really aware that the guild master is going to just go, there's a chance that they just go all in on um, the guild master stuff because we saw the basket makers workshop upgrade and we see the pottery upgrade. So you have to be kind of aware of that. That might be a point in favor of taking the glass blower shop. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm playing horse when I have animal buyer in hand. I think this is pretty clearly just a mini pasture pick. Mini pasture is a great card, especially if I can wait until the person after me can't use it. HIKLJ says uh, definitely like catch cash crop need point ceiling. That makes sense. Um, okay, so this is a pretty interesting option, and, ha, huh, I'm pretty sure the pick is Evening Prayer, P 
pretty sure that that's the pick. Um, because with child psychologist in hand, I'm okay. I don't even have to rush the evening prayer. I can play, like, if I could play evening prayer on family growth, like, if I rush for the first family growth and use, like, my second action in round two and second action in round four to plow, then evening prayer with the first family growth can get child psychologist out and, you know, bargaining baker or whatever. And then I start playing the rest of my occupations. And that would be totally acceptable. Um, I mean, Cornrick getting me grain is nice for my bargaining baker. Um, I think, though, evening prayer is definitely better than Cornrick. The other card, I'm actually considering Honeymoon here. Like, if I need point ceiling, again, Honeymoon is a point ceiling card. And Heat Wave uh, triggers my bargaining baker getting me grain. But I think it's just, like, pretty clearly evening prayer. So, um, this is an interesting option. Uh, I'm pretty surprised that the Guildmaster passed on Peasant's Boutique. I'm, this was, actually, no, I'm not. You know what? This probably tells me that V took Guildmaster, and that V probably took Diamond Mind over Peasant's Boutique, which would make a lot of sense, because Guildmaster needs as much stone as it can get. Um, so I could take Peasant's Boutique just as a hate card to block it, but I think what I'm taking here, it's a uh, bread paddle. Um, bread paddle is like normally like a pretty marginal card, but in this game, because I can play occupations without using an action, the ability to also bake without using an action is gonna be really nice. Like I just load up those two things. HIKLJ says, based on what's coming through, it looks like nobody has interest in baking strategies. Uh, yeah, I agree with that for sure. I like tea actually quite a bit, um, but I don't like it better than canoe. And I uh, don't really think I have an encircling wall game. I could play plain with cabinet maker, but I'm not even sure that I'm going to play cabinet maker. Like, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. Like, I maybe will use it once or twice, and then playing plain to use, to, like, benefit once or twice is, like, very marginal. Um, it's an option, though. Realistically, I mean, am I playing Encircling Wall? Probably not, because I'd rather build ovens with my stone in the well. It does save me on wood, which is nice, and saving me on wood would help for my other stuff. Like, if I want to build four rooms, for example. And I think this is looking like a four-room game. Um, just because I'm going to be able to uh, plow with so few actions. Um, so it's between canoe or plane. I guess if I want to grow, if I want to build more than one room, I have no read discount. Canoe is probably playable in that situation. And I'm not going to take horse... Um, I'd rather just buy one sheep. Horse is fine if you want to eat all your sheep, but I'd rather just buy one sheep for one or two sheep for two food with animal buyer. So, and slaughterhouse is pretty unplayable. So investments it is. It's too expensive. Uh, evening prayer bread paddle is kind of an anti combo. Um, for the first two cards, yes, but then for the next five, it's fine. So. So we start in fourth, which is like the worst position to start in. But you know what? Since we don't care about playing an occupation in round one, we're fine with it. Um, it it'll be sad if somebody else has a no occupation strategy and goes for three wood. I didn't. We didn't really see like landing net or anything. Like if you had landing net, you definitely three wood into landing net or not landing net uh, fish trap. But uh, we didn't see any of those cards. Although they usually get picked pretty early. Whoa! Well, with Sheep coming out round one, we have Field Watchman playing Hunter in round one. Makes a lot of sense. So I was going to say, 
if uh, we don't get three wood, we'll take two clay and go for that first fireplace. But uh, nope, definitely not doing that with Hunter coming out. And we've got Food Connoisseur for Midi Lol. I am very surprised that Midi Lol passed me canoe having Food Connoisseur in hand. That's uh, surprising to me. But uh, I get three wood and I'm actually happy. I'm like perfectly happy three wood into plow a field. Like normally in fourth you're sad because you want to be playing occupations, but I'm perfectly happy with three wood into plow fields. The only thing I have to be careful of is getting enough reed. So I'll prioritize two reed in round two very highly. But uh, otherwise. The other thing I have to keep in mind absolutely is um, Eris. I have to keep Eris in mind on uh, how the family growth queue is going to work out. If I can be in a position where I can build the first room in round five, great. But I also have to have seat priority over who the heiress is because if I don't and I second action build a room, they can heiress after me and then build the room in round six and grow ahead of me. So I have to keep that in mind. It's uh, definitely a play around card. And ultimately, when you see it but don't know what hand it ends up in, the effect it has on the game is that it just really chills you off of going for the start player really aggressively. Because there are just so many possibilities. Like, what if somebody else forgets about Eris and they start player thinking it doesn't matter and then they hand first family growth to the Eris player? Like that kind of thing. Alright, let's go guys. Round one should not be taking this long. And where do I want to plow? Um, I always forget, I always think to myself, man, I'm not going to screw up my plowing this game, but then I do. Um, the issue is, I want to leave room to fence into it, I think, is always the issue, and then I don't always do it right. I like doing the top left because it gives me the option of three wood, three rooms, three fields, fence covering nine spaces. So gives me that option. Field Watchman did go for two clay. I guess that's all that was available because V reads stone food into two wood. So. Midi Lal playing an occupation here, Scrounger. Nice card, four wood action. Oh, I did not comment. Midi Lal took, oh, day labor, never mind. I was gonna say, they took one read. No, they took, they used Food Connoisseur to get a read. I forgot about that. Oh, Stonecutter, okay. So yeah, there's where the guild, so I was right about the uh, guild master. So Guildmaster's in V's hand, almost certainly. Uh, gonna play Diamond Mine. Diamond Mine plus Stonecutter gets two of the major uh, two of the major improvements. And I passed him the glass blower's workshop and the basket maker's workshop. So if um, V grows early and gets a lot of actions, gonna be able to, like and gets monstrous like resource grabs, that's gonna be scary. Um, what I am happy about, I didn't pass any way to play major improvements easily. So I am happy about that. Also, uh, Stonecutter was his first pick. I think Stonecutter is quite a bit worse than... Well, actually, I don't know if it's worse than Bargaining Baker. Because in some cases, Bargaining Baker is only as good as Stonecutter. But the nice thing is that Bargaining Baker giving you the grain before you play the oven. Like, that, that level of synergy is just really unmatched. There are very few cards that uh, even come close. So, I would like to get a nice uh, four clay action. Four clay gets me my clay oven plus my stone oven. I have no other use for clay really right at the moment. So, um, This is looking like it's gonna be a um, plow a field round. Just because uh, I'm already at six wood and I don't really need anything else. Midi Lol's passing me stable, which is 
Sure. I mean, a couple of my miners seem like a little on the unplayable side, so... So there we go, we're all ready to play evening prayer. Oh, I need to be right back really quick after this move. I'm gonna go grab, um, so I'll take uh, three food. Food is not super tight, but I'm pretty sure I can three food into four clay, like that sequence will be available. I need to go uh, flip my laundry because it's Tuesday, which means it's laundry day. Okay, uh, four clay here. Kind of already declared my intention to take that action anyways. So I have a very good, um, I have a very good method to, uh, or sorry, I have a very good chance to get to read next round. Um, V, all my opponents are at to read, basically. So we might see, like, V might go for read if he's really going hard on the Basket Maker's Workshop, but he can also just get read by building the Basket Maker's Workshop. Like, it gives him three reads, so. Boy, am I happy I took Cabinet Maker. Oh, man. Cabinet Maker actually is like one of the best Guildmaster payoffs because wood is so valuable. Getting four wood on an occupation anytime you want, like with your third or fourth action, just sick. Just sick. Oh, very nice here for Field Watchmen. Very nice. Dolly's mother. That explains, uh, so yeah. So definitely going to want to uh, play a fireplace at some point to eat the sheep that he's going to breed into his house because a hunter can only eat uh, animals that you're taking off the board. Like you're not able to uh, eat stuff that you've bred and is sitting on your farm. All right, so I could be really greedy here. And the way I would be really greedy is not taking two read because I'm gonna gamble that nobody else is taking two read I'm pretty sure V is building basket makers workshop I'm pretty sure um, 
Field Watchman is not taking two read. I think Field Watchman will play like Clay or Wood with Head of the Revolution. I'm guessing Field Watchman will take four Wood. Yeah, I think the actions on the board are so good that yeah, I could take you know I'll take four Wood here. Yeah. HIKLJ says, wow, that's an ambitious head of the revolution considering four wood is available. He must have a two occupation minor. Um, yeah, I, oh, I want two read back. I absolutely want two read back. If it's wood, it seems not worth risking since you're guaranteed three wood at worst. That is an excellent point that if I take two read and the other two three players, two players take, uh, two of the three players take four wood, then I get, I just lose one wood. Whereas the fail case where I don't get two read is really bad. That's an excellent point. Uh, I'm pretty sure though that Midi Lol is not taking two read, that he's going to do read stone food or wood or clay. Like, I think this two read action is actually very safe. And, ooh. <laughs> uh... Destroyed by my own hubris. Okay. Um, well, that just happened. Um, okay, I can start player evening prayer here. Um, playing bargaining baker child psychologist. Or, or child psychologist cabinet maker, maybe. Because then I could cabinet maker play... Hmm... I think I want to get my child psychologist out in case round five is family growth. If round five is family growth, then I will be very, s and I don't get it, my stuff out, I'm going to be very sad. All right, let's do it. So we'll play evening prayer. And then we'll play child psychologist. And then we will play uh, bargaining baker or cabinet maker. I think it's going to be... Bargaining Baker, because Bargaining Baker, I have the clay to, to build the clay oven. Like, I'm ready to do that kind of thing, so. Yeah, and then if V doesn't take three wood, I get six wood back. Although six wood with no reed is in hand is quite a bit worse. Um, I could have played investments to get one reed, but why would I do that over reed some food? I guess I would do that because I'm gambling at getting six wood. Pretty sure V is taking three wood here. Since it gets him the resources to build a room. So where did Eris end up? Did Field Watchman end up with... Have, does Field Watchman have Eris? No, Head of the Revolution was in... No, it was not in the same pack as Eris. It was in my... Head of the Revolution was in my first pack. Yeah, the other point in favor of taking Reedstone Food there was definitely the fact that I can Reedstone Food again next round and then still be in a reasonable position to build a room. Maruska says you should not depend on weak players not doing weird stuff. <laughs> I'm sure Midi Lol had a good reason to do a two read move. I'm sure probably maybe he's got some read miners or something. But yeah, it's a little unfortunate for me, but hey, that happens. You know, it's part of the game. So we've got Haberdasher here for V. That's unusual. Because um, he's got, like, I don't see why. Oh, maybe. Does Diamond Mine require three occupations? If it does, then that would make a lot of sense. Um, I got six wood, excellent. Very happy about that. So this is looking like a six wood into clay oven round. Yeah, I'm guessing that was a Haberdasher just played that to, Haberdasher was strictly to get Diamond Mine out for V. So I'll be really interested to know how everyone plays around the Eris. And especially because Midi Lol should have seen it. 
because Eris was not in my opening pack. Yeah, so Midi Lol sees it, saw it, and I'm pretty sure Field Watchman will have it in hand. Because V, I'm pretty sure V is not taking Eris when they have, um... Oh, I'm much less sure now. Oh, I am much less sure now. First action, joinery. Okay, I bet V has Eris, I guess. And they're going to second action Eris. And then if they second action Eris, that f and the other players pass on start player, especially because I'm in the start player seat, then there's a chance that they get uh, first family growth. So. Also, Major Minor is gone, which is a little sad. But uh, I'm not too worried about that. So, second action. There is five clay. Five clay is excellent. Oh, there's the heiress. That solves that mystery. Uh, I'm a little surprised Field Watchman doesn't start player into, into heiress, but maybe he thinks that that food will be too tight. Um, yeah, Reedstone food plus Mare Candidate gets me the resources to build the well. Um, five clay gets me the resources to build a cooking hearth, especially triggering my bargaining baker, which would be nice. Um, oh, here we go, village school. So that's why they did that. Although they could have just taken, they could have just taken reedstone food to play village school, but this leaves them one reed, so they only need a four wood action now to build another room. So I, I it, it makes sense. Um, Five clay, reedstone food. I think I take five clay and then I'll value reedstone food very highly next round. Yeah. Especially because the five clay might scare, like with haberdasher and stone cutter, there's definitely a chance that V could take the clay and then build clay, the clay oven. That's an option. Yeah, and maybe I don't go for the well. Maybe Mare Candidate Stone just play pays for my stone oven. Like that's enough. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm dumb. I don't have food to play on. Um, to play a child psychologist occupation here. I totally forgot about that. Well, that just means I'll value um, building the clay oven very highly this round. Oh, that, that's silly of me. I should have uh, played around that. There's always a chance that this is not family growth. If round seven is family growth, then I'm feeling better about how this game is going. I'm feeling way... Actually, I'm feeling great. If round seven is family growth and midi lol start players, I will be so happy. That will be exactly what I want to happen. Round six. Let's see what it is. That's weird. I can see round six, but not refresh the board. That's unusual. Normally, once you see the round six in chat, you can refresh the board. Is my internet down or something? No, nope, it's fine. Yeah, round seven, family growth round seven would be great a great sequence. The only issue with it would be how do I get um, everything out that I want to get out? This is so weird. Why can I not refresh the main board? Something weird is going on. Anyways. Um, the only issue is I would not be able to play... Oh, beautiful. Well, I, I really don't have to think about it. It's too read into building a wood room. Like, it's not even close. And then on my family, so I'm going to start player first action round seven. And I can start player and play, um, I mean, I could play canoe. Canoe is not an awful option. I'm pretty sure the food is getting taken, but, uh, like I could just play cash crop. Bread paddle is not awful. I think though canoe is fine here. 
Especially if fishing gets taken here, because there's no way fishing goes to four, I play canoe and get a five food and a read action. No way that's happening. V plays unicycle driver. Okay. Man, I remember when this card came out. <laughs> when Fred's that came out, we worked so hard to make this card good. Like, tried it over and over and over and over and over, and it was just so slow. Never ended up being worth it. Never. Let's build a room. And uh, should I build some stables as well? Um, with animal buyer in hand, yeah, I think I do build two stables. Yes, food is going to be dicey. There is a chance that I get forced to beg here. I do have the option of not start player first move and giving Field Watchman my position in the family growth queue. That is an option. And the way I would do that mm, thing is with that stable build, Field Watchman is like pretty much forced to take the sheep here. Hmm. Clay Evan grow third is a safer option. Yes. Clay option grow grow third. Grow third is fine. Um But I have to ask myself, how badly do the other players want? Like, would they take a four food traveling players that is a fine move? Uh, you know what? Four food traveling players is a fine move. So it's not like they would even be screwing themselves that bad. Um, I can't, if I could play green bag or something, I'd think about it maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Midi Lol plays guest. So uh, V gambles and wins that gamble perfectly um, that they're going to get past six wood, which is correct. They are getting past six wood. So I think I have to play safe here and uh, build the clay oven. I could, you know, I could first action read stone food um, because then I could reno instead of major minor which might not be a bad option but you know what I'm gonna want major actions later so I think this is fine save a stone and then V gets six wood and they get to ride their unicycle to the so bake where they get to play a minor improvement and I assume the minor improvement will be um, diamond mine a very very nice sequence, very nice setup for V. Yeah, so Field Watchman start player fruit tree makes a lot of sense. So I hoped uh, second action family growth would fall into my lap, but uh, the read the read falling as late as it did for me really hurt. So that happens. Third growth in round seven family growth is not awful. Uh, especially because I'm saving so many actions with child psychologist. I'm gonna have some really good uh, sequences. Really, really good sequences. So three stone is available. Um, or the other option I think is read stone food. The reason I like three stone is of course the well stone oven. The reason I like Reedstone Food is it gets me the six food, which lets me play a child psychologist occupation on Field Watchman's first action. 
and that uh, that will almost certainly be um, mayor candidate. It also allows green bag, yeah. Yeah, it gives me options. It gives me options to reno. It gives me options to play green bag. I do want my green bag out for sure. Gray says playing mayor candidate in a scrounger game. <laughs> I think it's worth it. I think it's worth. I th I think the loan of the stone is without using an action is going to be worth worth uh, ignoring the scrounger bonuses we'll see though we'll see the thing is this is a scrounger game but it's also a late family growth game so like anything that accelerates my feeding can be really really quite nice um, acreage here for V so using the haberdasher to jump to so bake and uh, playing a minor on the Sobake space. And they've also linked Major Minor Sobake, so they can play with one action, play two improvements, which uh, definitely Guildmaster and Stonecutter appreciates doing. I need to feed four here. I think it's okay to play my Mare Candidate because it's going to get me my Stone Oven, which is gonna make my feeding so much more efficient than every other player. Wow, Field Watchman got Diamond Mine. What did V take over Diamond Mine? I am amazed. Wood, wood, stone, stone. The other nice thing is I don't have to start player... I don't have to start player uh, stuff here. Major minor plus minor is gonna be insane with the guild upgrades. Yes. Yeah. Be able to play the major minor and then play the major and then immediately upgrade at the end of the round, or not immediately, but at the end of the round upgrade. Yeah. I agree. Very strong. Uh, looks like stone oven is safe, so I don't actually have to start player here. Um, I could reno well here. Reno well is an option, but I don't think it's better than stone oven because I think if I don't build the stone oven here, I don't have enough time to not build the stone oven. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to first action take four wood because four wood is an excellent action. So I'll do that first. The other thing is, um, scrounger would be worth one point with mayor candidate. So it is an option. Yeah, V immediately builds the well. Yeah, not gonna let me, uh... so I should show my Mare Candidate. So the reason Gray is highlighting Mare Candidate in a scrounger game, of course, is that I get one negative point for each wood and stone in my supply. So, uh, yeah, having extra stone and wood in round 12 is bad for me. So scrounger is only worth at most one point now if I keep all the resources. So it's probably not worth holding stuff for. But you know what? I'm not gonna have pottery, joinery, basket makers workshop. Let's sell let's use my resources optimally. I think it's okay. I think I've like look at how much more developed my farm is than every other player. Two fields here, two stables, same number of rooms. Like sure I'm a little behind on family growth, but I'm not gonna have to use a start player action to get this get my next family growth. Oh, uh, I guess I do, because Midi Law could jump me for it with uh, his village school. Yeah, because Field Watchman didn't take wood there. Okay, so I do have to start player second action. But it's not awful. Midi Law playing Occupation Remodeler. Okay, so they can three wood into build a room and jump me on the family growth queue. <sighs> the 
that is assuming that V does not um, build a room here. If V builds a room, then MIDI lol, of course, cannot. Um, I think we're going for it. Yeah. The other thing is what? Oh, okay. So if I read, if I reno stone oven here, I cannot play get grain bag with my family growth. I would play like cash crop. Bread paddle is not awful. I could bread paddle then grain bag. Let's do it. So three and one, and then I will save. I'm gonna save a clay actually. I'm not gonna save the stone. Um, yeah, because if I save a clay, whoops. If I save a clay, then I can um, have a better, good chance of building a fireplace later and bake. And if I want to, uh, I think I'm not very, un very unlikely to build a clay room, considering that family growth came in round seven. And we've got Remodeler and Eris, both looking to build more rooms. So yeah, me, me getting another room is not looking very unlikely. So now I've got my two ovens out. Grain bag gets me three grain. I can turn that grain into 13 food with my bread paddle. And then that 13 food, uh, like one instance of 13 food phase, feeds like a harvest and a half or two harvests. And then the other 13, I can dump into my animal buyer at the end of the game. So uh, yeah. And then of course I can always just bake nine and keep a grain behind, which I can actually use to sow. So I have good options here. I have some really good options. I could sow bake as well and not play the bread paddle. Like I definitely have options available. Whoa, V did not, uh, I really did expect V to go on uh, build a room. I wonder if V is just not gonna family growth at all this game which is pretty surprising. Yeah. Uh, the one point in my favor, if Midi Lull does grow here, he is very likely to starve. Like extremely likely to starve. There's Tubble and Tubble here for V. So if he does jump me and then first action family grows, we have a very good chance to make him starve. Because we just have to like not let them get even three food fishing won't be enough they would have to three food two food two food with only two actions available so wow the gamble paid off i am a lucky guy i'm going to get my third family growth with zero start player actions and i might even be allowed to second action family growth I don't even think I have to first action. I think I can second action family growth this round, which is just stupid. I'm pretty sure Field Watchman has to, f no, not taking sheep. Oh, of course, needs to get the Reno out for the heiress, to get the heiress room. So I could take three sheep. Now, the thing is, those sheep don't breed and they're not worth anything until I build a fireplace. I do want to build a fireplace with three clay on my farm and the fact that it turns gets me a grain and increases my grain bag. Um, the question is, is there anything else I want more? I mean, wood is nice because it's fencing, but I do have mini pasture. I could take food that lets me play mini pasture that's also an option but i'm pretty sure i want to get my bread paddle combo out as soon as possible i want that to start being a thing the other thing is i saw no uh, plows in the game 
so like my evening prayer plow plowing is just going to be such great value I saw no plows and then plowman was like so very severely undervalued for some reason and my landscape gardener my landscape gardener is just a monster what a monstrous card Field of Watchman, two clay fireplace, makes a lot of sense. But I'm pretty sitting pretty happy with three clay, because the three clay fireplace is usually not ver valued very highly, because the one extra clay for the cooking hearth is almost always worth it. So I think I have a very good chance of getting the three clay fireplace, so. I'm feeling good. Yeah, the only thing is I definitely don't mind star player actions because uh, grain bag, um, grain bag wants to get played, cash crop wants to get played, uh, mini pasture wants to get played. But I think this is fine. Feed five. Red paddle feed five. Yeah, so this is why I'm a little confused by how much V has slow played this game. Uh, because Field Watchman is going to Eris build and grow ahead of ahead of them. So, yeah, it happens. Oh, I forgot. We were supposed to spam the well in chat when the well got built. I'm gonna, we can do it now. Field Watchman playing Farmer here. And then V gonna play a minor improvement on the So Bake Space. This is actually quite nice with the acreage, the way this is comboing together. So it took a while to set up, but now it's like looking like a pretty nice combo. Field Watchman is almost certainly playing Family Growth either way, so pretty sure V is just deciding which of the major improvement upgrades to build. So V's playing glass blower shop. I was asking about playing T, but no, they're actually not physically on the space. Oh, hey, T plus haberdasher is a combo for a free sew action. I never noticed that. And then glass blower shop for V, of course. So pretty sure Midi Law is taking six wood. Pretty sure I would, yeah, four wood is fine. Four wood is fencing 15 plus one. I have the stable miner in hand now, which is actually pretty nice. So yeah, I can do that. I don't really want anything else that badly. I do want reedstone, well, hmm. Reedstone food into grain bag is like actually not great because it leaves me with a random extra stone. I think I like two reed into grain bag better
I also, this round, want to get food so that I can play an occupation next round and get my bake action out. So yeah, actually getting the grain bag out is maybe maybe more significant than I thought. So two read, start player grain bag, take grain as my sequence. And the backup plan is building the three clay fireplace to get one grain. And then do something that gets me oh you know what actually that works too because then I can eat a sheep to pay for the occupation and then bake hmm that's an option as well actually maybe I do both maybe two reed grain bag fireplace no that's not no why would I play rush grain bag out to just build the fireplace So V is renovating and playing Heat Wave. Oh, that's sad. Free fireplace for V. Um, well, fortunately, V is taking a lot of major improvement actions. So hopefully he does a free upgrade at some point. Yeah, it's funny how, like, this is a weird game. A lot of six wood actions. Four wood is going to go all the way back around to midi lol. I guess V first action renoed because reno has been tight. With me renovating here and then field watchman to get the heiress out and then the remodeler, of course. Midi lol really wants to reno. Is playing an occupation now. Plowmaker. Okay, that helps him flip, flip, flip. General Crick says, I like the wood fence bore line here, then fireplace and grain bag next turn. Um, the reason that I didn't like that is because it doesn't let me play an occupation on round 11 family growth, which I definitely want to do. And I don't want to have to use my first action of that round to build build something. That was kind of the way I was looking at it. I'm going to start player grain bag here. Passing on four wood is annoying, but it happens. The other nice thing is V does not have to first action, V doesn't have to first action grow. So maybe I can get food with my first action. Like go on so bake. Yeah. Yeah. Midi lol playing, animal pen. Okay, um, I'm pretty happy that I took uh, start player. Well, actually, Midi Law would have start player, but so going second is not awful. I think though, Field Watchman is gaining a lot from this sequence. Oh, I forgot about Head of the Revolution. Hmm, I should maybe have been playing towards Head of the Revolution more strongly. I'm going to grab three grain here. So, new round. Um, yeah, I can't eat my sheep, unfortunately. I would like a way to eat my sheep. HIKLJ says, I might be crazy, but I like grain here into Bake plus Landscape Gardener. Uh, I kind of want to hold my Landscape Gardener until Cash Crop is out. But no, I don't think you're, I don't think it's a bad idea at all. I, but I think I want to hold, I want to hold the Landscape Gardener until I have Cash Crop and a vegetable. Yeah. 
Well, the thing is, it has to be first move because V is going to family grow second move. V is going to family grow second move, and if they family grow second move, then I need to have the food to pay for the occupation. The other thing is, I do like three grain better than so bake, honestly, or as much as so bake, maybe. This is not a great move, but uh, I'm going to do it anyways. Bake one grain. It gives me the food I need to pay for an occupation. Um, yeah, not a great move, but it's a move. I think we're looking at... Um, I think what we're looking at doing is we're looking at plowing um, twice more as quickly as we can and then fencing 10 to grab the head of the revolution bonus. I think now this is this is my new game plan is pursuing the head of the revolution bonus as, hard, as uh, aggressively as possible. Even if it's fencing 12 along the bottom here, it isn't, that is an option. Although that would kill my point ceiling pretty hard. But like no one else is really looking like they can grab the head of the revolution bonus. Like no food here, for, no wood here for V. Field watchman, no fields. So it doesn't want to lock it himself out of doing fields. Um, HIKLJ says fence tempo for the next round looks pretty nice. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, there'll be lots of nice two um animal actions available i'm also thinking about start player cash crop if round 12 is family gro uh, actually we're happy with family growth or plow so both are fine out uh fine actions for us we would very strongly prefer family growth but uh yeah uh plow plow so would be a good move actually if round 12 was family growth and we start player into it then i really like our chances to win Especially if we then got the head of the revolution bonus. I think I start player cash crop here. No, you know what? Not cash crop. Uh, mini pasture. Uh, so if I play mini pasture, then I can start breeding my sheep. Yes, I think it's mini pasture. Fence four. Yeah, I like that move. And then V's going to family growth, and we will occupation play um, cabinet maker or animal buyer. I mean, we wouldn't buy animals this turn, but we are not likely to eat food either, are we, or eat wood either, are we? Now, a cabinet maker, we might eat one wood, considering the fact that we just built four stables or four fences. We can afford to eat one wood in the next harvest. And the other nice thing is now we have space for two animals. So a breeding pair of cattle, and then we could fence the rest of our farm in round 13. There are two growths next harvest, so landscape and buyer have time. Um, they do, yeah. Yep, that's true. Oh, animal breeder here. Um, wow, field watchman. Farmer combo with animal breeder. Nice cards. Um, the interesting thing for me, well, how hard does he pursue head of the revolution? With this, like, really ugly looking farm along the bottom. I wonder if he also took, um, 
Oh, what's that improvement that minor cloister? I wonder if he took cloister very um, like with one of his first two picks, which is a nice cloister is a nice card for sure. Um, okay, I can three wood or I can grain bag here. Three wood is food. Grain bag is also food. So, uh, oh, sorry. I was not paying attention. Announce, pay two, and then one, one, two, three, four, five. And then this action, I could take vegetable or I could take more grain. I think I take one more round of grain for another big, um, so big. And then I will eat a wood. And then I breed my sheep and collect grain. Oh, the field, look at the mini pasture get around. Oh man. Yeah, passing mini pasture to the animal breeder is really sad. But I guess if he didn't have, uh, if he didn't have a choice, Field Watcher had played Animal Breeder after Mini Pasture came out. Oh, that's too bad. Because, yeah, that's really good for the Animal Breeder. Really, really good. Yeah, I like my setup too, but. I just don't have enough actions. Like I have 11 wood, which is enough defense perfectly. All right, heart of the cards, guys. It's family growth. Beautiful. Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so when... Um, Midi Law Family Gross this round. I will play uh, Animal Buyer. And then when someone Family Gross round 13, I will play Landscape Gardener. So I want to make sure that I get a vegetable this round so that I can first action. Like, I won't have time to get a vegetable before playing Landscape Gardener. It's not the worst thing if I don't. I only miss out on one point, but I mean, it's a point. So I may as well go for as many of them as I can. Um, the second action, though, uh, definitely two cattle. And actually, animal buyer is quite a bit worse if I'm going to get a cattle action anyways. Maybe I should think about plow. It also looks like midi lol might be thinking about start player. If midi lol is thinking about start player, should I go for plow so? Hmm... I could start player cash crop here. Start player cash crop before plow so seems pretty strong. Yeah, you know what? Passing on two cattle sucks. Sucks so much. But you know what? Animal, I don't have that many actions. I need to get value out of my actions. Like, I, I need my animal buyer to get me my two cattle. I can't play... I don't have time to take two cattle. I need my animal buyer to get me two cattle. That's the only way I can get the head of the revolution bonus. So my last action will be plow, if it comes back to me. I think it probably won't. I think probably my opponents are going to go for plow, but uh, if they don't, I will plow. Just wondering, is it legal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It is legal for me to not plow any more fields and just fence like this. That's a legal configuration. And it would let me family growth instead of plow sow in this round. The downside of that is 
uh, I don't get a bake action. But I get a bake action off of Midi Lol playing here. I, I don't get a sow action, I guess, for my cash crop. Hmm. Like, I could just grab the head of the revolution bonus with this next move. But it would cap my point ceiling quite a bit lower because it would leave me at only two fields. Now, Landscape Gardener does give me another two fields to sow on to. V fence, so no. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> good point. Wasn't even thinking. So we'll plow a field. And I do have Miner Stable at hand. So I have some options. So we're looking at first action, fa uh, family growth into, or are we doing plow? Are we doing plow in defense? Should I family growth in defense or plow in defense? Plow gets me the head of the revolution bonus. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's worth it. Field Watchman finally doing a fireplace upgrade, so now the two clay fireplace is available for me as a one point action plus one grain. We've got Dung Collector here for Field, uh, for field Watchman. Okay, so needs defense one more time to trigger it this round. And then V plays the Peasant's Boutique, which is the Basket Maker's Workshop upgrade. And yes, I am playing an Auk. I'll play Animal Buyer. And I will take one. One, two, three, four, five. And then, since I'm going to plow so, I'll leave one grain in my supply to bake again. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. And then uh, next action will be plowing a bunch of stuff. Oh wait, sorry. Um, uh, no, it's too late. I already declared bake one. Yeah, no, it's too late. Um, so yeah, I'll bake here as well for a useless plowman. So I actually cost myself one food doing this. I should have just baked twice initially because I have to pay two food for the plowman. So I'm only getting three grain out of that grain, three food out of that grain. So I should have just baked with the sow act action before, but yeah. Uh, not sowing on the cash crop. Yes, you're right. Sorry, I forgot about the cash crop. Thank you. Definitely sowing on the cra cash crop. Whoa, when did Field Watchman build a fifth room? That's crazy. That is crazy. And he also fenced first action, which means that I have to get on defense in round 14. And Midi Lol does as well. Midi Lol looking like they're ready to uh, reno though, reno fence, so I have some time. I have a little bit of flexibility.
Oh, Eris, of course. Oh, I totally forgot about Eris. Thank you, Marska. Another occupation for Midi Lol. It's kind of random. So I think I'm obligated to start player here, right? Pretty sure. So I'll start player guest. Because I have to get on fencing next round. If Field Watchman has a way to plow four fields at once, I'll be sad. But. It's pretty unlikely that that is the case. So, how many... So, I, I'm going to fence 11 more. So, if I pick up wood, I could pick up wood to eat instead of... Um, You know what though, I think uh, probably major minor fireplace is my next action and just eat sheep is okay. Oh, you know what? I don't have enough food. I planned on animal buying this harvest, didn't I? Okay, so I think probably fireplace. You know what, I can eat all my sheep. It's not an awful option. I can eat three sheep to buy to uh to boar but what i really want this round is two cattle because that two cattle gets you the extra point um that would mean i need to spend two actions getting this stuff and it would mean that i can't take my vegetable i probably want to take my vegetable There have been a lot of passing miners in this game, and they're all getting around too, which is unusual. Tavern keeper for Midi Lol? Sure. A little late, but. Grab the two clay fireplace. I'm pretty sure that's an action either way that we want to do. Plus G. Yes. So I would like to animal buy a pair of cattle here. So I can eat all four of my sheep to do that. But if I do that, then I would have to cabinet maker eat a wood in order to feed eight. Which uh, loses me out on one point, but it's more than one point because it also loses me out on holding that third type of animal. Vegetables gone, vegetables taken anyways. Okay, so I need to take food here either way. So actually a cattle is for food, just taking a cattle, and then I only need to animal buy one. So I'll eat two sheep to buy a cattle, and then I eat another sheep, and then six food to feed eight. and then I breed my cattle. All right, that works. That works very nicely. Put a point on my grain bag, sure. New round. Um, yeah, so he can reno fence, but I think there's just no sense in risking this, right? Like, let's just get the head of the revolution bonus.
Prince 11, Viva la Revolution. Now I can put my cattle in the big one here. And now I want to bake enough grain that I get... Um, Wait, so how many grain am I going to have left over? Not as much as I thought, actually. <laughs> uh, getting that fireplace out a little bit earlier would have made a pretty big difference. Because if I bake two grain here, that's not that's um, nine food, which is not even enough to um, buy two pairs of boar and feed, which is what I kind of planned on doing. So if I could take grain before the family growth even without room space is used, that's an option. But I think I should just take the family growth even without room space myself if it comes around. Because Midi Lol will probably save his family growth until the end of the game, I'm guessing. I'm hoping. I don't know if that's the case or not. Yeah, I didn't quite make this work. It's just like a little too slow. I have some nice points, but I don't have like a five room stone house with five family members like Field Watchman does. So I don't know if I'm, I've got enough to beat him. I do have more major improvement points, which is nice. And I'm gonna have no negatives. He's probably gonna end with one or two negatives. I don't know. It's going to be... Yeah. Dunk Collector is a hero. Actually saved him so much. Which is crazy. Yeah. I wonder how many players have forgotten about Scrounger already. Alright, Midi Law, what you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, if I could play landscape, if I could get take vegetable before playing landscape gardener, like it's just an extra point. It be it makes makes it a three point action. So what are what's my best case scenario? Is my best case scenario family growth, grain, vegetable, or family? growth vegetable grain before midi lol goes on family growth even with room yeah that's probably my best case scenario here So taking grain is four grain, which is a crazy number of grain. Thing is, Field Watchman also wants a two-point grain action. So there's a chance that he takes it with his next move. Especially because it des denies me quite a bit. <sighs> yeah, it actually might be, it might cost me like two points. If I bake three, that's 13, which is still not enough to buy two boar and feed. And I need to pay for the landscape gardener as well. I keep forgetting about that. The landscape gardener costs two food. Yeah, this game is just a little too slow. Like it could have done some really stupid stuff, but it's just been a, it's like a step too slow every every step of the way. The one thing that we can take solace in, looks like V's going to end the game with all the improvements and no resources.
Like six wood is quite a nice move for him, for him. Two two points, two food. But I mean, two points, two food is not that great at this stage of the game. So there's field watchman going on reedstone food, getting this scrounger bonus. Good, good. So we should see midi lol go to reed. I'm actually very happy with my internet stability. Um, no drop frames in an hour, 25 minutes of streaming, which is pretty cool. So we'll count on V having better actions than two points. So grain and then one, two, three. So I eat two raw grain and then bake another three. Two raw grain to pay for the landscape gardener. Or how, how does this work? So I need to feed nine and I buy a boar, 12. So I need to get to 12 food. So that's, yeah, baking the 13 is my three there. Oh, vegetables gone. Okay, so yeah, just taking food with my last action will be, be a point then, I'm sure. Eating cattle is only a point. Probably the, eat, the same as eating two raw grain, yeah. But I'll get to, I'll have more grain than I need. Because I'm already going to have four. Plus playing landscape gardener gives me the option to do a bunch more sowing. I'm pretty sure I just take two sheep or a boar with my last action. I guess cattle is better than boar because I can buy a boar. I can eat four and buy a boar with the one and have one extra food. Yeah, having the negative on vegetable hurts. This is a farm that cannot afford any negative points. So I save two food if I just go on so bake here, but I cannot then bake on other stuff, so. Let's just grab four food with our last action, it's okay. So how many grain do I need to sow in order to um, get maximum grain score? Only two, right? Because if I sow two, that gets me to eight. And then I can eat a bunch of raw grain. Oh no. Oh no, Midi Lol is not going on occup uh, family growth. No! Oh no, did that just cost me the game? Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, I have to think about feeding. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's going to still be worth it for me to buy a boar. Alright, I'll start off with buying a boar. And then I'm going to have four so I can eat one, two, three raw grain. Eat three raw grain to buy a boar. And then I'm pretty sure I just have to eat two cattle now. And feed a... Uh, Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I can buy a second boar. Okay, so I eat to a and buy second boar. So I do get to breed the boar. So it only, it did cost me a couple points, but not as many as it could have. Minus one, plus one there. So I whatever I score plus six. Oh man, I got destroyed. Oh no, and HIKLJ correctly points out that cattle is only three food for me. Yeah, thank you, HIK. Thank you for pointing that out. I do not have a cooking hearth. I only have a fireplace. Oh, man. So I have whatever I score plus six, which is 44. And Field Watchman hit 49, so it's probably, probably I was not making up five points. But two points from two more cattle one point. So I was, uh, yeah, I was probably only getting three more points at best. Yeah. Yeah, so it didn't end up making the difference. <laughs> so HIKLJ subscribes with Twitch Prime for the second month in a row. Um, rip. Yes, rip. So yeah, it didn't end up being the difference, fortunately. Midi Lol ends up with only a 32 point farm with six stone rooms. That seems like an accomplishment. That seems like a big accomplishment. <laughs> oh man. Well, Field Watchman had a nice game. Very strong cards. Animal Breeder plus Dung Collector and Head of the R and uh, Hunter. Fencer. Getting Mini Pasture, really good. Dolly's mother with Dung Collector is awesome. Got Apiary Diamond Mine. Look at these four uh, four miners. They're all like for all first pickable. So got really strong miners. What did V end up with? V ends up with forty six. So I would have come second at forty seven if I got another three points from my animals from uh, Midi Lol playing on. Um, on occupation or playing on family growth which is what I was expecting yeah the plowman not not getting me anything so yeah there was a couple things that just like went really badly I was too slow the, the fact that plowman was no fields uh, really hurt a lot and the fact that landscape gardener didn't come out for the extra sow action of course extra sow and bake action and yeah, and then Mare Candidate in a game with Scrounger is questionable, for sure. I think it ended up fine, because I gained a lot from... I needed to just accelerate my game as quickly as possible to get my um, baking combo out, but yeah, maybe it was not worth it. And then also the fact that I couldn't grow second, and Field Watchman was able to grow second. That was also probably pretty important for the game. Yeah, which really, that comes down to Midi Lol taking two read in round four, which um, I don't know if it was a great move. As Mariska says, don't 
plan on weaker players not doing random moves. That's a good point. That is a good point. But, I mean, I'm sure they did their best. Um, they were trying. Yeah, 44 for me, which is uh, unfortunate. There are definitely a couple more points sitting in my hand and available in the game for me. So, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Uh, that is going to be all for me for today. And, uh, again, thank you to HIKLJ for subscribing. And uh, I'll see you guys. When am I going to stream next? Maybe... Not tomorrow, because it's the Leafs uh, season opener. Thursday. I'll stream on Thursday. Yeah, I, I'll have lots of time on Thursday. So look out for me on Thursday. Uh, probably pretty similar time to today, because this is like when the site seems to be the most active. Afternoon uh, Europe time, so... Um, late afternoon European time, so... Uh, yeah, look out for me then, and uh, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye.